What's up, my dudes? We got high point, little bit of high point 2023 Pro Motocross track for MX vs. ATV Legends. Spency Boy testing out some high FOV in the game. I know that's kind of the meta in this game, so we're going to test it out here in this video. I've not done a whole lot of high field of view riding in this game. Probably going to be able to rip, bro. But anyways... Yeah, this is the new DLC High Point replica pro motocross track in the game. You do have to have the track pass or the season pass to be able to get these tracks. So one big thing to keep in mind is they don't actually have the rain mode for this track yet in the game like they had for their track from last week, their Thunder Valley track. You know, it had the big rain mode, new feature to the game. Well, just keep in mind that is currently not in effect for this high point track right here, but MX vs. ATV did state that they will eventually bring the rain mode to more of the tracks in the game. So just give them some time and they will eventually get that in there. Okay. But we're just doing a whoa shit, dogs. I think you can triple that, triple that into the corner. Okay. Yeah, I always find it to be kind of bizarre when you get some of these dirt bike games where it's almost like required for you to run a higher field of view. It's like it makes the entire game easier, more playable. I've always found that weird in, in moto games when they're like that. But So the biggest difference that I've noticed between these newer 2023 Pro Motocross tracks and last year, bro, that double right there is so small, you got to be careful. Um, but the biggest difference I've noticed between you know, last year's pro motocross tracks and this year's pro motocross tracks for legends is it, they're, they're, they're pretty similar, honestly, like as far as overall layout and stuff like that, it just seems to me like the 2023 tracks have like maybe 20% more like roughness and ruts and pre-made, you know, like the ruts and roughness are like 20% bigger than they were from the tracks from last year. That's basically in a nutshell what it seems like the, the difference is, you know, if you had the 2022 track pass and you had all those 2022 Lucas Oil Pro Motocross tracks, you're basically just paying for more roughness and more bigger ruts. That's about what I've noticed on it. And then obviously the rain mode with the new Thunder Valley. Um, I assume they would be bringing that rain mode to some of the like 2022 and, uh, you know, those kind of pro motocross tracks eventually. So you might still get that at some point, even if you don't have the new track pass. But yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say about these tracks. They're just... They're, they're solid. I mean, they're, they're definitely decent. There's some skill gap here. There's some jump size here. You know, you can jump down these hills pretty good. You got different rut options. We'll go take a look at the high point from last year here in a second to give you that direct comparison to it. But Spency Boy railing them ruts. Yeah, when you have that higher field of view on Legends, it just makes it where you can kind of see what the bike's doing when you really get into the ruts fast and your screen's not like, you know, shaking around all over the place. But it does kind of zoom out quite a bit from the bike. So, woo, you might even be able to triple in those little Ricky Carmichael corner rollers there. Are those whoops or rollers, bro? Lot of spots. Yeah, yeah. That's a big thing about this track right here. There's a ton of spots you can like kind of triple through of over like an ant hill on the inside or something like that. It's kind of what I'm noticing with it. Even like right here, there's a triple. You can like slide up the inside there. This is kind of like a quad ski right here. I do have deformation turned on max, but yeah, visually everything looks good. Um, it's really just a, I don't know. I mean, it's like, yeah, this is fun. You know, these tracks are pretty fun, but 
it ain't like playing reflex. You know, it ain't like playing reflex on a stock track or something like that. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's still not really capturing anything close to that kind of a, oh, can you double in there? Woo, she, buddy. That would be pretty big. That would be pretty big, Hassan. Linside right there. Gotta let off for this double here. Some of the jumps are a little bit smaller than what I was expecting, like especially that little section right there. I figured that would have been a little bit bigger scaling, honestly. I do like this section right here. You got that high speed, and you hit that corner. Kind of gets kind of narrow right there, which is interesting. You honestly don't feel the roughness too much in this game. I think that's more just like a physics thing to the game. That's what I'm saying about a lot of these pro motocross tracks. Like, they're honestly pretty decent for what they are. It's just the physics of the game doesn't really, you know, give you that same sort of effect when you're hitting roughness like on Sandwick on Reflex or something along those lines, you know. It's just the physics of the game is only going to allow you to do so much and allow the bike to react so much on these pro motocross tracks. It don't even really matter how much you max versus ATV, how big they make the roughness. The bike's only going to react to it in a certain kind of a way you see what i'm saying so but anyways let's go check out let's go check out the uh 2022 one real quick just to get a little comparison here uh yeah 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 okay 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 spency boy but anyways uh yeah, I mean, this is keeping the content coming out for Legends. I'm sure a lot of you hardcore Legends players out there really appreciate this. But um, for some of you that don't really play a lot of Legends, could I really see it being worth buying the new, you know, track pass and stuff? Man, I, I don't know. I, I just don't really know. Still got that same kind of section. You can see how the layout, it's basically identical. I mean, this is literally the exact, and of course, they're replicating the real-life motocross stuff, so, but that's what happens with these motocross tracks. I mean, it's like, you you know, if they don't change very much in real life, then you're kind of sort of getting the same exact thing. That's what I'm saying. You're basically just paying for, like, 10 to 20% bigger ruts and roughness. That's, that's basically what it is with this new lucas oil pro motocross track pass kind of thing um graphically they look you know pretty similar maybe that jumps a little bit bigger on the newer one like i think that's the other thing the jumps some of the jumps are a little bit more peaked out yeah like that right there is more peaked out on the newer one um so it's it's pretty much just like you're just getting bigger terrain you're just getting like 20% bigger terrain, whether that's ruts or roughness or jump faces, you know, that's pretty much what you're getting when you buy these newer 2023 Pro Motocross tracks. So, yeah, I hope I gave you guys a good little comparison, a good little, uh, good little look at that. This jump right here is similar size. I think the yeah, it's kind of like they just peaked out the jump faces on the 2023 version versus the 2022 version. So, unless you're like a, you know, a decently hardcore Legends player or you're pretty pretty into Legends, I don't really know how much these are worth it, honestly. Um you know, if you that's if you've already bought the 2022 tracks and all of that, you know. It's not like a totally different kind of thing going on here. It's just kind of slight differences, you know. Um, it's not like when you have new Supercross tracks where it's obviously like completely different layouts and jumps and everything like that. With these motocross tracks, typically, I mean, yeah, they are changing the layout of Red Bud this year. But other than that, Typically with the moto tracks, you're not going to have that big of a difference with the layouts. And that's a big problem that happened with the, the Milestone MXGP games. That's why those tracks got so stagnant and boring over the years. Because it's just the same tracks. You know, if you don't really change the scaling very much, 
then you're not really going to get that big of a difference here. Um, and this doesn't feel like crazy different scaling to me. It just feels like they made the ruts a little bit bigger, the jump faces a little bit more peaked, you know, and the the roughness is is slightly bigger but again the, you don't really feel the roughness that much on legends to begin with so you know it's one of those things like it's nice to see it it's nice to see mx first adv sticking with you know coming out with this content and coming out with new tracks even though they're not that much different it is still nice to see it um i would have liked to seen a, a little bit more different of a scaling difference between the 2022 tracks and the 2023 tracks so far i haven't seen that much of a difference with scaling um there may have been some sp some corners where they made them slightly wider but there's nothing drastically different i guess that's what i'm trying to say here when you want to consider buying the 2023 track pass if you already have the 2022 one you know it's it's not drastic differences that's the big thing to keep in mind. Um, but you will get whatever, if they have any newer tracks in the series or like anything like that, you would get that. And like the rain mode on the Thunder Valley, you would get that. But overall, like I say, if, you, if you're not that much into Legends, then you're, you're not going to want to buy the new track pass. So that's basically what it comes down to. You're going to have to be somewhat of a certain amount into Legends before you can even see that being worth buying. So, either way, man, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. I'll see you boys on that next one later, dudes.